Hi, this is Hello, this is Kukuleta Manana. So today we are exploring the synergy of other art-based um, therapies, um, how they synergize with other like music therapy, dance movement, drama therapy, poetry. There might be others that I left out, but these are the ones that I, um, you know, I included in the in this video presentation. Um, so as I have been saying before, art therapy uses art as a medium for communication and expresses expression. Um, it is widely accepted as an effective method for various psychological and emotional disorders. However, there are other art-based methods and creative art therapies that work well together with art therapies to enhance and improve its um, effectiveness, you know, um, as I mentioned, dance, drama, poetry, music, and each method is because it's got unique use and unique benefits and application in therapy. When combined with art therapy, they can provide a holistic approach to healing. So how music therapy is, is useful uh, because it addresses musical, emotional, cognitive, and social needs of individuals. So also as when combined with art therapies, the goal is to enhance self expression, expression, promote relaxation and stress reduction. For example, a client may create an artwork while listening to music. The use of music inspires their artwork. And also the therapist may use music to create a safe and supportive environment for the client to ex and, you know, explore their emotion obviously the music will be decided with the client in mind because uh, what the client or the therapist might think is a good you know a piece of music might not you know might have different meaning for the client so you collaborate with the client and in dance and movement therapy so you use movement in dance to promote um, healing, you know, and social integration of the individual. So it also uses it's a combination with art therapy, so clients can help express themselves through body movement and Latin body language. Um, the example, the clients may create an artwork inspired by a particular movement or dance, or use movement to express their feeling about the artwork, and through dramatization the uh, you know of and movement the therapists can also use movement to help the client explore their body sensation and emotion related to their um, artwork this is particularly useful for trauma and uh, uh, embedded you know memories that cannot be accessed because then the emo memories can be um, you know used in the movement and they can be uh, embodied in the artwork. So in drama therapy, similar to uh, movement, uh, it uses role playing, storytelling, and improvisation to promote emotional, social, and cognitive growth. So when you move, when you merge drama therapy movement and art therapy, it's quite a powerful combination because this it helps clients obviously um, experience those emotions through dramatic experience so when the client can move when the client can express dramatically an example i'll give is when the client would create an artwork inspired by a particular character or scene from a plane they could use drama techniques to act out their feelings about their artwork and the therapist may also use drama to help the client develop new perspective and coping skills related to their artwork. So these are really good combination. And in poetry, uh, so you use words, you use, you know, um, this the, the skill and the articulation of words to promote um, emotional and psychological healing, you know. Um, so the clients, uh, you know, are helped through uh, when combined with other, the clients can add words and to images. You know, it doesn't have to be um, award-winning poetry, but you know, when you can attribute words and name, you know, things into your poetry and add. So, an example I would give is when the client will create an artwork inspired by a particular poem 
or write a poem inspired by their artwork. So also the therapist can also use poetry to help clients explore their thoughts and feelings related to, to their artwork. So this one you can look at maybe words and you know feelings and put words into those particular frames as you are drawing or painting. So this is really an, an interesting form. So just to conclude, um, you know, by combining the different art-based methods with the creative art, met, the, you know, art therapies and art therapies, it's it's it it becomes a more comprehensive and approach an effective approach to healing, because each method has its unique benefits and applications in therapy. When integrated with art therapy, it can help clients express themselves most fully and gain a deeper understanding and insight to their image. For clients that cannot verbally verbalize things, you know, movement, they can move. For clients that cannot verbalize, they can um, dramatize an experience or an emotion. Moreover, uh, when we adapt this method to a South African context, it can help address cultural and societal issues specific to a region and promote greater inclusivity and diversity in mental health care. Thanks. That's it for today. Hope to see you in the next presentation. And yeah, I look forward to hearing from you. Bye.